Did we look at anybody starring in this movie? Nah, we don't need to do that. We're not. It's the Mouse the Movies! Yay! We went and saw the latest uh, adaptation of the movie Emma. So, dot. Emma Dot. <laughs> this is a Jane Austen novel, right? And has been made into movies countless times. Probably. You could probably count them. But, but <laughs> yeah. lots of times. It's probably the funnest one I've seen is Clueless from the yeah, 90s. Yeah, everybody loves Clueless. <laughs> and so this one, we saw the trailers for this. And I thought it looked, it was in like the, it was a period piece, you know, set during the, the setting of Jane Austen novels, but it looked funny to me. And I really liked how it, uh, it appealed quirky, to me visually, kind of humor. a little quirky and the trailer had these like quick shots. And so I really wanted to go see this yeah. latest adaptation of Emma. So Kelsey, go wait or skip. I have to say to, to to wait to see this movie, I thought that if you're into this type, well, first of all, if you're into this type of movie, if you're like a book nerd and like this is your favorite book, then yeah, go see this movie. It's very well made. The characters, I think, were displayed uh, very well on the screen. I thought they cast it really well. And I love when I go to the movies and I'm immersed in a foreign culture, a culture that I don't see every day in my everyday life. And, and that did this for me. It was a crazy time period in England back whenever it was and to me it's interesting um, but if you're not a big serious Jane Austen book nerd then I feel like this movie um, isn't anything um, overly artful that you need to see that you actually have to see um, the story itself this Jane Austen story that I've tried to read before and only got halfway through doesn't really appeal to me um, but overall, it's a fun, good movie in this genre of movies that's made very well with strong performances by pretty much everybody on the screen, and I liked it. Now, Rachel, <laughs> should I would like to like know? You we did. We went. Context? We went. Well, wow, we went to see this movie together, but not both of us actually ended up seeing the movie, Rachel. So, can you explain that a little bit? Yeah, um, we normally don't see movies that's with a start time at 10 p.m. But we did go see this movie so that Kelsey could do something earlier in the evening. So we decided to go see it at 10. And it turned out that Rachel's had a really long week and missed out on some sleep this week due to work issues. And I was sleepy. So yeah, so what is your, I mean, because you kind of, don't you have to say skip because you chose to skip it while you were in the I theater. didn't choose. I did not choose. I think you got to be responsible. For no, no. I really did not choose because I was so struggling to be awake like the whole time. So much so that when the movie was over, I thought, oh, Rachel, your eyes only shut a few times for like a couple seconds. Like, and then like. Today, Kelsey like brought up something that happened in the movie, and I was like, "What? Like, I have no recollection of it." So I guess I missed some longer <laughs> parts, some longer sections of the movie than what I thought. So go wait or skip, Rachel. I'm gonna. Here's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say wait. I did see That's a safe play. enough of the movie. I saw. I definitely saw like the first half of the movie, and. <laughs> As the first half was unfolding, because I I was really excited to go see this movie. I really wanted to see it. So I'm actually kind of like, would I have liked it more if I wasn't so sleepy, even the first half, you know? That's what I'm wondering. Mm. Anyway, yeah. Maybe. but as the first half unfolded, I was kind of disappointed. It wasn't as funny as I thought it was going to be. It wasn't as, like, quick as I thought it was going to be. It was visually, like, stunning and cast very well. But I didn't think anything new was said about the story, like this adaptation of this novel. I didn't think that they had anything new to say about it. So I was just kind of like, eh, there were things that I liked. So I would, I mean, I'm going to say wait on it. But like, I might even say skip because if you skip it, like you're not going to miss out on anything in your life. Do an update for this maybe in a, in a few months and see if Rachel actually turned out to wait. Or skip for herself. Okay. If you still haven't seen ha at least half the movie. Not half. Probably like three-fourths of the movie she didn't see. No. She was awake during the beginning credits. I didn't credits. see a quarter of the movie, probably. 
I will say that can, we should get the spoilers. spoilers. Hello, spoilers am I from England. You know, here's a spoiler. About halfway through this movie, I was I was disappointed. I was like, <laughs> I was like, this movie promised me. I feel like a uh, quirkier, funnier adaptation of Emma than I have been given. Okay, but but in that moment, I made the best out of that situation. And you know, I will also say that we were there with other people that were watching the movie, and there were. It was clear that somebody in that theater lots of laughs, loved like. Jane, Jane Austen, Austen. Yeah. So and this novel. That's why I say, like, if you're that person, this movie's for you, probably, mm -hmm. judging by my ears and what I heard. I thought that the performances were really strong in the movie. I especially liked how um, the people that were on the screen the most, they, they, they did a lot with their faces, mm -hmm. showing emotion, yeah. showing feeling, and it was quiet moments or, like, exciting moments. And I really like when somebody can pull that off on the screen. The other big thing I liked about this movie is that um, there was a lot going on visually. I thought it was a beautifully shot movie. I thought the, the costumes and everything was great. Um, I thought the pacing of the movie was good. And I liked the main characters that, of course, at the end, end up together. I really liked both of the actors that played those characters. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, could, I could buy their interest in each other. I could buy that on the screen okay. and I like when that happens. Yeah. Visually, I agree. The movie, it made me, you know, the, the filter in Instagram that's like Lagos or something. It's like one of the more popular filters that people use. It, it made me think that it, like the entire movie was shot in that filter. Uh, I really liked it. And I also liked the soundtrack. This folky music, would be played in like I really liked it and I liked the way the music was woven in it didn't fade out but it kind of started and then it would like clearly cut off when the conversation started but it just fit really well and I really really liked that the actor that plays her fa Emma's father I like him in all kinds of things and he was great in this I actually wish that he had more in this movie like he did more Maybe he did while well, my eyes shut, but like, <laughs> uh, I wish that he had more in the movie. But aside from that, it just, to me, there wasn't anything new being said. It was like, oh, I already know the story of Emma, you know, the matchmaker and then falls in love. Like, I already know that story. What's new about this? What, you know, and it's like, I almost feel like with this movie, like they tried for something new. And that was like their goal, but they didn't actually pull it off. And the trailer promised me something like new and different, but they didn't really pull it off. And so an example of that is towards the beginning of the movie, there's two scenes and I'm still confused as to why the movie maker chose to go this way. But one scene is where, I forget his name, but the guy that ends up with Emma at the end, he gets dressed. Like he comes into his house he changes and then goes over to Emma's house. But we see that whole changing sequence. We see him naked. We see him put on socks. We see him like tuck in, you know, like they dress no, in a different way back then. We don't see then. him put on his socks. No, he, we see his servant put on his socks. We see his servants help him tuck in a shirt and then pull up his, you know, weird pants from back then. Like it was really weird and raw like because it was it wasn't meant to be sexy i don't think it looked like if somebody really did that and so and then there's a scene not too long after that where we see emma where she's standing in a room with a fireplace and she uh is like like waiting while her servants like go get like another article of clothing for her and then she lifts up the back of her dress so that her her bottom and Hands her and underwear is like facing the fireplace, which I can't tell if it's on or not. It didn't seem like it was cold. I don't know. Like, I was like, well, why did that happen? Why did we just see like the main character like stand there with her dress above her butt? Again, not, it didn't seem sexy. It didn't, it seemed very like raw. Like if somebody would just do that at their home in regular life, but the, if you were trying to do something with that, why didn't it play out through the whole movie? 
So that's what I mean. Like whatever way they were trying to be different, like in the way they had the dad act who was kind of quirky, they didn't do it enough. They didn't quite pull it off is my opinion. There's our review on Emma. Thanks for watching and hey, please like, comment, and subscribe.